Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News. Joining us now is Oji Okpi with stories trending around the world. Hi, Oji. Good morning, Leila. Good morning, Hello, Dr. Bati. Hi. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and good morning to you viewers. We begin what's trending today with a viral video that has resurfaced from a 2016 sermon by Nigerian pastor Chris Oyakilume. Social media was a buzz yesterday with many women outraged by the sermon as Pastor Chris stated in the video that a husband does not mean a male partner in a marriage, but a master and should be respected. Do you know the meaning of husband? No, I think some of you don't know. You think husband means the male, the male partner in a marriage? No, I think that's what you think, some of you. You think husband means the male partner in a marriage? Husband does not mean the male partner in a marriage. Husband means master. I'm looking directly at you, Dr. Martin. <laughs> 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 Well, I mean, Pastor, Pastor Yahilome has been accused of misogyny yeah. and also yes. of discrimination okay, against right. women. And, uh, but those who defend him insist that he has not said anything that is not backed up by the Bible. Uh, they, they, really they argue, well, 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 they argue, well, they argue that as a teacher of the world, uh, of the world, you know, that he, he can back it up with passages from the Bible. You know, in the Bible, it is said that a woman is created from a man's rib. And a woman is created by God to help uh, the woman, you know. Uh, but, you know, the world has changed. Uh, most men will not even publicly uh, claim that they have a master-slave relationship uh, with, their, with their wives. But that's what's crucial there. For every master, there must be a servant. That is not what is in the Bible. Mm. The woman is a helpmate, according to Genesis. Also, that's according to Genesis... That's why the Bible says, you will find a good wife... Finds a good thing. Finds finds a good. Finds a good no, thing. but also according to Genesis, you leave your mother and father and cleave to your wife and become one, one. flesh. Mm. There is no master servant relationship. M husband and wife huh. are joint heirs. Pastor Tunu. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yes, <laughs> in the book. You are challenging our yes. <laughs> yes. You are joint heirs. A yes. man is to love his wife as Christ loved the church and died for the church. You sacrifice right. for your wife. It is not a master servant relationship. All right, but there is a deeper meaning to this video as well. Okay. I mean, this video resurfaced. It didn't just happen now, it happened in 2016. And if you remember, Pastor Chris's divorce and I think that was the period he was going through his divorce as but well. But it's wrong of so, him to project his personal issues. But then issues. we also forget that we're all human beings no, at that's the end wrong. of the day. Uh, I'm not you also know, him in you also know that no. you know, but this I, video has right. been in circulation right. for quite some time mm -hmm. but I think it's gained fresh currency right. in the light of the issues we've been having with male-female relationship in Nigeria. First the uh, reported Correct. rape by Busola Dakulo and also uh, the violence by the uh, uh, Senator Elisha Abo you know, against uh, a nursing mother. Mm -hmm. I mean, a man will only treat that w a woman that way because she thinks that the woman is it's inferior. A yes, or is a and servant. you cannot project your divorce on your personal issues and but use that. Do, that's human the nature. Pulpit. No, but it's but wrong. That's human nature. Yeah, but it's that's, completely but wrong. It is immoral. It's, un it's unethical. It's unbiblical. And there's a penalty for that, which he ought to know. You do not add to or subtract from the word of God. What is not in the Bible, you should not stand at the pulpit and say. And report well, whatever issues all you all are all having with your wife are that. your business. Yes, no. Does the, does, does, the, does the Bible not also say somewhere that the woman should? Submit to our husband. Yes, it does. That's as not that we love the church. Right, right. And right. Christ, but the Christ sentence love you know, men love your husband. wives as, as um, Christ Correct. loved the church, and women, you must submit to your husbands. Before I even mention submission, it said only if your husband loves you, and that's a love of respect, the way that Christ loved the church, which unfortunately right. a lot of men don't. Totally so, self sacrificing. Yeah, it's so just that, that sentence that is absolutely wrong, and that's why everyone is outrageous. Yeah. Uh, outraged. Anyway, OG, any thank other you. story? Right. <laughs> All right, well, let's head over to the UK now, where an open Openly homosexual Church of England minister wants to get married. Reverend G.D. Macaulay, in his bid to get married, is forced to ask if he can reconcile the two sides of who he is as both a deeply committed Christian and a proud homosexual. Same-sex marriage has been legal in Great Britain since 2014, but it is a right the Church of England does not recognize. His journey is featured in a BBC documentary, Too Gay for God. Unfortunately, he has a long battle ahead of him at this point, you know, trying to seek to get married. Because this is not a case of social norms or what's right or wrong. It's about Christianity. And if you're, talk, if you're a Christian, the, the church 
only preaches what the Bible says, I believe. Um, also in Leviticus chapter 18 and chapter 20, it says, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It's an abomination. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's the one quote in the Bible well, that, but you, you know, see, he, there have been I don't changes. know how he's Bible going to be able to... There have been changes, that. there have been shifts, there have been reforms for the Anglican Communion and the Episcopal Church in, uh, in the United States. This has been an issue since the 20, uh, 2008 Lambeth Conference and then the 2013 Lambeth Conference, which uh, many Anglican bishops, Anglican leaders, uh, particularly from Africa, boycotted on this same issue of gay rights in the church. The Church of uh, uh, Nigeria, Anglican Communion, you know, uh, as in other places, are uh, opposed to this. Now, but there are some liberal jurisdictions within the church, you know, like uh, New Zealand, like Australia, like Canada, like the United States, you know, where, you know, bishops, you know, the clergy are allowed to marry if they are gay. Uh, the first example in the United States, the Episcopal Church, was Jim Robinson. You know, who was the first, uh, you know, bishop of New Hampshire, who was allowed to be gay and to have uh, a partner and all of that. But what a church in England! It was only in June last month, and he himself was ordained. You know, Macaulay was ordained uh, a priest uh, in England June 2019. Now they, there is a rule that they brought out now to take a look at, you know, whether there can be a review, you know, of relationship and whether you know the rule can be changed and they can be allowed to marry so if the uh, if the church of england goes ahead with that then he may still get a chance uh, to marry and he does so have because a it's very about his it's about his right but the church is slowly reforming itself and we are seeing that reform divided as it is even in the anglican community well, what's interesting in new zealand was the idea that was mooted is that it's better to be married even if it's a homosexual marriage than to be fornicating, even though you're heterosexual. Exactly. That's the and option that's the, uh, yes, that's the Church of England that's is that's beginning to as that's well. That's yes. the angle as well. Well, let's take our final story under sports. As the Nigerian Super Eagles qualified into the semifinals of the Africa Cup of Nations, Nigerian billionaires Aliko Dangote and Femi Otedola have pledged a total of $75,000 for each goal scored in the remaining games at the Afghan. Dangote promised a whopping $50,000 per goal, while Mr. Otedala pledged a sum of $25,000. Earlier this month, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, came on the fire for rewarding the team with 41 million naira. The Nigerian Super Eagles will play Algeria in the semifinals on Sunday in Egypt. That's a nice incentive. I know. Right now, I'm just saying I just want to be a... Money is the motivation. <laughs> Money is a huge money. Of, of course, always has been the motivation for soccer players. And I think it's great that these philanthropists mm. are, you know, rewarding our players, and hopefully they come back home with It's the customary, trophy. though. Well, Nigerian well, billionaires always step say, up. You mentioned the Tedola, Aliko Dangote, yes. and uh, the governor of Lagos State. Lagos State. There's also ITO Group. Yes, there's, all there's the also other groups that have, been, yes. that have been donating Thank to you the very Thank you, Thank you,